like rubbish tells a story about what has happened in daily life. So data can tell a story, but we don't know how to extract that story yet. My name is Emil Lupu. I'm a reader in Adaptive Computing Systems at Imperial College. I'm curious about how we can build software systems that can assist us in our daily life, that can enable us to improve our quality of life whilst at the same time uh, optimize the amount of resources that we are using. We have the potential to collect vast amounts of data and that potential increases exponentially with the developments in smart cities, smart infrastructure, smart transport. Data about what we do is pretty much a byproduct of our daily life, much like rubbish in a sense. In the same way as we're trying with recycling to be able to reuse and to get as much value as we can out of the rubbish we produce, we have to look for new ways of getting the most value, the most information, the most knowledge out of the data that we can acquire through sensors, through the Internet of Things. We've made uh, vast advances in the capability that we have to process large amounts of data. Large advances also in machine learning. And despite those advances, there is a lot of knowledge that we as humans have that um, computing or com and algorithms have difficulty capturing without us, in a way, contributing. This waste processing facility, they use a mixture of machinery and human processing. Perhaps we can get inspiration from this, type of, from this type of processing and envisage in the future human contributions will be interleaved with the machine learn, learning algorithmic processes in order to derive new information and new knowledge from the data that we can gather from the public spaces and from the individuals. Crowdsourcing is the process of using human contribution in the performing of various tasks, which may be partly through the computing system, partly require this human, human processing. So people can help machines by labeling the data that is acquired, by identifying what certain patterns correspond to. But we, get a, we can get a double advantage from the combination of human and machine processing, because as humans can help the machine learning processes in the same way machines can monitor the human contribution, reduce the number of errors. Over the next 10 years, we will see the, the emergence of new companies that are going to specialize in various ways in which the data can be processed by combining the efforts of, of humans and computers we're going to see new processes in which um, humans and machines will collaborate in order to automatically analyze and predict and design the world in which we will want to live.